The Unmanned Weaponization Package, or UWIP, is a bolt-on weaponization system for a small to medium UAS or UGS platform. We at EBAD have used our expertise in making energetics and electronic safe and armed devices to come up with a platform agnostic unmanned weaponization package that has the ability to return safely if the charge is not used, making it a one-of-a-kind force multiplier. The system is comprised of the remote handset that allows you to arm, release, and detonate your payload and has been tested out to ranges of one kilometer. The control module or electronic safe and arm that is the brains of the system that controls the safety architecture. The energetic module. The energetic module can be tailored to your specific target. We have already done testing on standard blast that has our thermobaric fill, our shape charge, and a fragmentation module. To use the system, you can attach a universal adapter plate to any UAS or UGS platform. The attachment allows you the ability to connect the payload module and release when you arrive to your target. If you haven't done so, you would install the batteries. Both the remote and control module have CR123 batteries. Then attach whatever energetic module to the control module. You then have a complete energetic payload module. All right, so now for our demo. We already have attached our control module to our energetic module, making our payload module. Now we need to link our USB to our remote, actually syncing the two together. So I'll take the USB out of the control module. I come over, insert the USB into the remote. Power on the remote. If this USB has already been paired to another device, you can unpair it by pushing the button over here. We are now gonna push the P button for pairing. You'll push the button, hold in until you get a fast blinking light. There it is, release and push again. The light disappears. You have now paired the USB to the actual remote. You can now remove that. Insert back into your control module. Now that allows this remote to only talk to this control module. For attaching to your drone, the only power currently going to the actual control module right now is the actual servo that allows you to attach it to your system. So by pushing the red button, activates the servo allowing you to attach it. When I talked earlier about the mounting adapter plate that you will mount on your system, this is the plate right here. You need to push and hold your red button. Once it's on there, release and it locks into place. The system is now mounted and it is paired. The other safety that is built in is like I was saying, there's no power going to the actual control module yet. There's a pin, a safety pin built in. Once I remove that safety pin, you got a 30 second safe separation time. That allows you to remove the pin, then the drone can start flying away, and then after 30 seconds, it'll allow me to actually arm it by the remote. Even after that 30 seconds, it still is not armed. It just allows power to allow it to be armed. So, I remove the safety pin, the light will stay green, and in 30 seconds, the system will be ready to be armed. So we'll step away, we can start launching our system, and in 30 seconds it'll be safe enough away, and then I'll start working and showing you the stuff on the remote. Keep a hold of your safety pin, because if you do not use your actual payload, when it comes back, you can disarm it by your switch, and then also reinsert the pin that removes all power, and you can use your system again. We're gonna launch our UAS. The drone will take off. It'll get its 30 second safe separation. Once it gets a little farther down range, you can see here we're still safe even though we removed the pin. All right, it's been 30 seconds. I switch it up to arming. 
It is now, the payload is now armed. We wait until we get over our target. Once we get centered over our target, that's when I'll flip up the cover for our drop. It's like we're getting close. I'm gonna remove my cover. Wait and make sure everything is right. Hit the switch. And we release our payload. Once the drone gets safe, a safe distance away, we can then remove the safety cover on our fire button.